receives billions of signals every minute and out of them we select a small portion and make a picture which we project outside and consider reality. That's our reality tunnel. That's our reality tunnel. A mosquito comes in the window. A mosquito will perceive an entirely different reality tunnel than a dog. A dog will perceive a different reality tunnel than a human being. Everybody does it differently. That's why no two people ever perceive the same interlude of time. If you set a watch and uh, then stop it and ask them how long it was, they'll guess anything from 15 seconds to four minutes. Uh, if you ask them what color something is, some will say green and some will say blue. And uh, this is uh, why uh, the first problem in uh, learning Zen Buddhism is generally to identify the great master who makes the grass green. Who is the master who makes the grass green? Who is the master who Well, I, I happen to be the, uh, the uh, CEO of the Committee for Surrealist Investigation of Claims of the Normal, and we actually are offering $10,000 to anybody who can produce anything that's totally normal in all respects, or even average. And then the normalists all claim that they've got something that they, they can demonstrate. They call it the normal. They never can produce it. It's a mathematical abstraction. You try to find a normal, uh, a normal dog, a, a, a normal human being, a normal Irishman, a normal Portuguese, a normal American. You can't find them. There is no such thing. But everything turns out to be uh, uniquely itself and uniquely graded from the norm. Who is the master who makes the grass green? Well, it has to do with language, uh, as Nietzsche pointed out. It gets tiresome to say this leaf, that leaf, the next leaf, leaf number four, leaf number five, so we say leaves. And then sooner or later some asshole like Plato comes along and says that leaves really exist. And they don't realize we created them. So the, the reality isn't haunted by the abnormal or the paranormal. The normal has been invented by a process of self-hypnosis and creative imagination. Who is the master who makes the grass green? The master who makes the grass green. That's our reality tunnel. Oh yeah, every reality tunnel is reinforced by a particular vocabulary. In Northern Ireland, if there's a city that's called Derry by the Catholics and Londonderry by the Protestants. You say Derry in one part of town and the Protestants will shoot you. You say Londonderry in the other part of town, the Catholics will shoot you. And that's only one illustration. You go around the world, you find a million illustrations like that. People are entirely hypnotized by the words they use. And they want everybody else to use the same words, too. The world is full of people who are killing one another over who has the right reality tunnel. As noble Drew Ali said, if you let other people define reality to you, you are living in a world that is called hell. It's when you start creating your own reality that you can create a heaven. Who is the master who makes the grass green? Who is the master who makes the grass green? Who is the master who makes the grass green? If you're Van Gogh, you live in a world with cats that look like this. If you're not Van Gogh, your cat shouldn't look like this. 
the sad man lives in a sad world, the happy man lives in a happy world, the angry person lives in an angry world. At the end of the valley of decision, there is always choice. Reality is what you can get away with. If you can't get away with it, it ain't real. And uh, no one has the one true reality tunnel except the judge who's going to hear this. I see you're taking notes. Yes. So I figure I'm going to be put on trial for this. And I want to say in advance, the judge has the correct reality tunnel. It's just everybody else is lost in relativity.